tell us how you became involved in Cooper Square? Uh, I was involved in the first urban renewal plan in the city, and it was, um, why am I blocking? 64th Street. Oh, Lincoln Center. York, Lincoln, York, Lincoln, York. Lincoln Center. Mm -hmm. And we fought it, and we lost. And then the next one was Seward Park, which I lived across the street from on East Broadway. And we fought that, and we lost. By that time, I realized that we can't say urban renewal sucks, we have to get rid of it. When, it. when they came to, when Robert Moses came to the Lower East Side and saw our tenements on 3rd and 4th Street, and he walked to Wall Street, and it took him 20 minutes, he got this bright idea that he would tear down these crummy tenements with toilets in the hall and bathtubs in the kitchen. He put in people who would walk to Wall Street to their jobs. And he just simply picked the wrong neighborhood. Okay. When By then I had been through two failures with Urban Renault, and this time I was ready for them. You learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we said to the city, we love urban renewal. We think it's marvelous, but we want it to be work for the people who live here, not throw them out. We wanted to, basically, we wanted to protect and benefit everyone who lives on the site. And if you can build a plan that will do that, we are for it. And at our very first meeting, Somebody brought Walter Thabit to that meeting. He was down at City Hall. Uh, I can even remember his name, I think. And he told Walter that this was happening. And the first meeting, which was at Thelma Burdick's office and the Church of All Nations on the corner of Houston and Second Avenue, and Walter was at the first meeting. And he became our official planner. And the basis of the plan is twofold. Everyone who lived on the site would benefit from the plan, and there would be absolutely no dislocation. People might be moved from the back of the building to the front, or from one building to the one next door. No one would be relocated off the site, and no one has been. So that was the basis of the plan, that it would benefit, not burden, the people who live on the site. And what was your role at the beginning? When I was an organizer. I was an organizer. And I'll tell you, when we beat Robert Moses, our little organization, people joined for a dollar a year. That was 59 years ago. That was 54 years ago. It's still one dollar a year to be a member of the Cooper Square Committee. We wanted everybody to be able to afford it. And if they didn't have a dollar, they could pay a quarter for four months. Thank you, Fran. That's great. So we, when we, we were ready for Robert Moses, and when we beat him, we felt that we could do, we could change the world. If we could beat Robert Moses, who was the biggest, baddest planner in the world, and we didn't beat him once, we beat him twice. We beat him in Cooper Square, and we beat him to th on the expressway. He was going to make from Hudson River to the East River, a six-lane highway, as if Houston Tenley. Street was not good enough. Mm -hmm. And he made a big plan. We beat him on that as well. Mm -hmm. We beat him twice, and we felt, if we can beat him, we're going to have, we're going to beat this plan. We're going to, we can do anything. <laughs> and we did. We did. I mean, it's the only one in the Northeast. 